Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Salem Cruise Light 24 View. This is a very unique rear kitchen bunkhouse travel trailer with one slide out. You may have seen some of the other YouTubers out there who've done videos on this. We finally got one in and I just wanted to kind of go over it in a little better detail and show you what it's really all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Cruise Light 24 View travel trailer here. Um, as you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a rear kitchen, one slide out front bedroom, and it has a hidden bunk room. We'll get to that hidden bunk room here toward the end. But let's start back here in the back of the RV and then we'll kind of work our way forward. Check out the view back here. Huge windows. They both open about 50%. Screens in them so you can get a nice breeze on a fall or spring morning. And then you have another huge window over here on your awning side. Again, that window opens as well. Real pretty heavy duty solid surface countertops. You have three little bar stools back here. So you could sit back here and eat or you could sit back here and maybe use it as a little bit of a workstation or something uh, if you needed to. You have electric outlet, USB charger port back there. There's another electric outlet over here. Down below right here, there are a couple hidden drawers down here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided kind of drawers. And then you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. The unit comes 50 amp service. It is prepped for a second AC, which would be wired in and dropped in right here if that was something you wanted to do. Over here, we have decent sized little counter space here or cabinet space here. Uh, you'll also notice they have gone to a magnetic holder on some of their stuff. And up there is an electric outlet and also prepping for that King Wi-Fi connect. Another electric outlet down there. We're gonna have storage back in here. You can see your heat duct coming out of the cabinet down there instead of in the floor. They're using the Magic Chef oven. So you have propane oven with the glass front and the light built in. It does have the light up knobs three burner stove top with a flip up and down glass lid that kind of acts as a backsplash. You have the window behind the stove area here as well and that also opens. Furion hood range, light and fan built in and Furion microwave as well. The unit is equipped with a 200 watt solar panel on the roof and a 30 amp charge controller by GoPower storage here high-rise spring sprayer faucet there and you have a dual undermount sink setup some more storage back here and then there's an access panel there also to get to some of the stuff um, that's basically like, like the uh, guts of the RV, I guess you'd say. Some of your appliance stuff under there. Just kind of looking forward here. That refrigerator is in the slide out. That is a 12 volt Furion refrigerator. It's about 10.7 cubic foot, but you have the fridge on the bottom and the freezer part on top. You have an L-shaped sofa. Now this sofa will flip down and make into a bed, so you could sleep an extra guest or two on this sofa. Now besides flipping down and making into a bed, there is also some storage down here. They have these big plastic tubs underneath here. 
And you also have another heat duct down there, furnace return. You can see your Coleman ducted AC up here. Now back here in this area, they're using these pull down roller shades here. Same thing on the back windows, except for the one by the stove area. Now let's check this area out here. So sitting right in front of your TV area, you have an electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have the Furion sound bar, a little bit of shelf space, and a decent amount of room to mount a TV. I'd say you could probably do close to maybe a 40 inch TV there or so. I have to measure it to make sure. But here's a really unique feature. So there's a door handle right here. Open this door. This is a swing door. So your TV, fireplace, sound bar are all gonna swing out. And you have a hidden room built into your slide out. Now I currently have it sitting in desk mode. Over here, you have an electric outlet and you have a uh, cable outlet right there with your TV antenna booster. Over here, we're gonna have a little bit of storage space. And then over on this side, we have some little cubbies. Now right here, is a fan switch. There is a fan right inside of here. And then you can kind of see up here, there's actually an AC duct that blows into a little area. And that fan also just helps really exhaust it out into this room. But just basically tap that little button and the fan kicks in. You don't have to turn that fan on. The wind of the AC still blows it down into there. But if you really wanted to crank up more AC into it, you can do that by turning on the fan and kind of really suck it down in there. Now, again, we're in desk mode right now. So you can see here, we got that set up. There's an electric outlet, USB, window here does open. Little light down there, another window. Let's get the little desk stool out of the way so we can see this a little better. So you have USB charger ports. Now this goes back into this area over here as well. And I shoved the cushions back out of the way just to get them out of my way for now so we could see it in desk mode. Now we will come right back and show you what it looks like in bunk mode. Okay, so back again here in bunk mode, so you can see what this looks like. So you have your bunk area here, and then it does kind of go back into that area. Same thing up top. Basically, the desk top slides out, giving us a little more room for the upper bunk area right there and then it kind of goes back in here. So basically the kids are gonna kind of put their feet back here if they're tall enough. And then mostly their upper body would be sleeping on the wider part. So a little different setup there. Really cool, unique setup here. And they have their little door handle here to open it up and get in and out as they need to. So they have their own little private, unique area. Now beside that area is also gonna be some more storage. So you have some upper storage and a little bit of lower storage. Digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your main air conditioner, a little bit of decorative shelf space there. The bathroom slash hallway area is kind of unique. They did that whole little arch set up there with a sliding door. 
You have a foot flush toilet. Little sink area and some storage in here as well. Medicine cabinet. Little vent fan up top. There's AC in here as well. And you have a skylight above your shower. Little step in shower with the glass enclosure. Pretty decent amount of room to actually sit down and use the bathroom as well. Now going up the hallway area here a little bit, we have our on-demand water heater controls. You have a light switch slash dimmer switch here as well. Uh, slide button, awning button, you have light switches, water pump, monitor panel for all your holding tanks. And then you have your 30 amp go power solar charge controller right here. And you would have a sliding door to block off your bedroom for privacy as well. On the right hand side, we have our light switch for the bedroom. And then we have the Versa tilt up and down bed control. So you can see here, this just goes right on up. Now this is set up to where the switch is away from the bed because they do not want you to uh, try to lay on the bed and raise it up and down. So push the button and set it the way you want it and then sit up in it. So you have a large window over there. Again, that window opens. There's TV hookups up there as well. So you can mount your TV. You have AC duct blowing in here also. You do have a USB charger port over here as well. Now we're gonna have hanging closet on this side. There's also an electric outlet down there. And there's a little hole in the side where you can plug things in or feed things through to plug things in. A little shelf space up there. Another big window over there, same setup. Hanging closet, electric outlet in there. Um, USB charger ports over there. Now when you put the bed up, that gives you more walk space around your bedroom area right here. Also, it's a 66 by 78 Camper King bed. There's a little laundry chute right here as well. And then down here, you have some little cubbies and you also have a little area underneath of there where you could maybe kick your shoes and stuff if you wanted to. And then you just push the button and the bed drops right on back down. It's pretty simple to do. It's a 12 volt powered motor. Same thing with your slides, they're 12 volt power motors as well. So as long as you got a good battery charged up, you should be good to go. You could see here. But overall, pretty cool unit with this hidden bunk room and everything in here. Uh, they do have another view model that's a larger slide out with a hidden bunk as well. We'll be doing a video on that one here soon also, so be uh, sure to stay tuned for that. Now we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of this thing. It's even got that outdoor kitchen out there, some pretty cool stuff. And then we're gonna come back in, close it up, show you what the slide looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Salem Cruise Light 24 View travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side and kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, this has the white fiberglass exterior, hung fiberglass attached to a wood studded constructed RV, wool batten type of insulation. You have a power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and manual override in case of an electronic failure. Obviously, when we were inside, you could see it had huge windows in the bedroom, the kitchen area, the whole nine yards. They are deep tent safety glass windows. Down below here, you have a large pass-through storage compartment. You can see some of the uh, motor mechanism there for that Versa bed we talked about inside. Also, they do kind of a dry erase board on the back of their storage door here. And this is held up by a magnetic holder. This one was ordered with the quick drop down 
manual jacks. Has an I-beam frame. Enclosed underbelly on the bottom as well. We have the more ride step above entrance step here. This is rated for 500 pounds. It comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet. Flips up inside the doorway when you're traveling. You have large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out of the RV. Window inside the entry door there, along with a traditional screen door. Again, ginormous window there in the sofa area. You have two speakers up top here, one on each side. Dual axle unit, steel wheels, easy loop hubs, drum brakes. You have your furnace exhaust out right here, an electric outlet and a cable outlet in case you wanted to set up a TV out here. You have a 110 volt mini fridge. You have your little griddle here. This is a propane griddle. And right down below here, you can see there's a gas line hookup to plug it in. So you're running off your propane tanks. You also have your fresh water tank drain right there and hot and cold low point water drains back there. And again, manual rear quick drop jacks as well. Just above the window is the stove exhaust vent. And again, one of those outdoor speakers. You have a cold water spray port right here and your suburban on-demand water heater as well. Just kind of step back here so you can kind of take in the whole side of the RV here. Really nice looking unit on the outside. You have a traditional flat back rear end, spare tire cover and mount on the back. That is technically an option. Most dealers do stock it with that spare tire, but if you're gonna take it somewhere and park it by a lake and just leave it and you don't wanna spend the money on it, you don't have to technically order it with it. Four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. Now just up top there, you can see that little saucer looking thing. That is a TV antenna. You also have prepping, little black thing below that center running light prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. That is a nice feature to consider if you're going to travel with this thing. Allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. Power cord here. This is a 50 amp electric power cord. This is set up with one AC standard and a second AC available as an option if you wanted to put one on. That's why they set it up with 50 amp service. That power cord, by the way, is probably about 30, 35 feet long, roughly. Uh, you have one of your dumps back here. There's a cable inlet on the side of the slide out down there. The side of the slide out is also prepped for Solaire slide topper. That is an awning cover that goes over top of the room and runs in and out with the room when you open and close it. That's definitely a nice feature to consider adding. It is an aftermarket feature that helps shade the top of the room, helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris and stuff to keep it from landing on your roof and getting drug into the RV and possibly damaging your seals or dragging in excess water that you might have to worry about cleaning up. So consider that, definitely check those out. Up top here, you are prepped for the Lippert Portable Stow and Go Ladder. That basically is a telescoping ladder you can buy aftermarket and it attaches on right there, allowing you to climb up and down on your roof to inspect your roof seams and seals and stuff. Uh, and again, if you don't do the slide topper, you might need to use it to get up there and sweep off the top of the slide. So again, another thing you might consider. Right here, you have your black tank flush and your city water inlet. And then you have your gray and black tank dump here as well down below. The other side of your baggage compartment area right here, again, magnetic holder. 
Now right here we have some important informational stickers. We're going to start with this one. This is what they call the dry weight sticker. So this basically tells us the RV weighed 6,350 pounds when it rolled off the factory assembly line, has an exterior length of 29 feet 11 inches. VIN number. Next up we have the uh, tire torque basically, so you check your lug nuts. Tells us right here, you know, the bolt pattern, the way to tighten it up, 100 foot-pounds of torque. Up again, we have our tire sticker, ST20575R14 D-range tires with a 65 cold PSI. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure and your tire torque. Gross vehicle weight or data plate for your production date. Yeah, this was built 828 of 23, model number 24 View X. That X basically tells you it's a fiberglass version and not a metal version. Gross vehicle weight, 7,640 pounds. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. Step back here so you can kind of see down the whole side here a little better. As you can tell, the front is nice and rounded out. It's got a nice slope to it, bubbled out, so it is a little more aerodynamic than a traditional flat front RVs. It is a smooth rolled fiber or smooth rolled metal front. So you have fiberglass sides and rear metal front. It has a lower diamond plate on the front as well. Two 20-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator here. You have power tongue jack with the manual override and a light built in. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy-duty safety chains, seven-way Bargman wiring plug. Uh, again, you got to make sure that you're wired up for that. Have a brake controller in your tow vehicle so that you can tow it properly. Battery disconnect down there. And then there's room back here for one or two batteries depending on the size of the battery. But overall, a very nice, new, unique bunkhouse on the market. We're going to head back inside. I want to close it up for you, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back on the inside of the brand new 2024 Cruise Light 24 view here. And I want to show you what it looks like closed. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come back in here to that control panel and basically hit the slide button and bring it in. Again, it is a 12 volt slide. Very, very important to make sure that you have everything out of the way. You don't want to run anything over, whether you're going in or out and mess anything up. So it pretty much comes straight in and goes straight out for the most part. So you kind of get the idea here when it is closed up, you're not really getting to the back of the RV unless you're climbing over the sofa and the uh, counter there. But it comes in real tight to that countertop over there. However, I still have full access to my bathroom and my master bedroom. So if you're stopping at a rest area and you just need to run in and use the bathroom or stop on the side of the road and the kids need to use the bathroom or something, you can still get in here and do that without having to actually open up the RV. Now, if you want to open up the RV, that's cool too. Just hit the button. Takes a few seconds to push this thing out. Now, if you just trying to say maybe load the fridge or something, if you're stopping at a grocery store or something, bump it part of the way out, run over there, load the fridge, close it back up. No big deal. Or take it all the way out if you got the room and you really want to. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my videos. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.